Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back here with another how-to video. This is actually just an informational video, tips and tricks on how to determine what the cost of the problem is of your phone, of your Samsung Galaxy phone that keeps on turning on and off. So these are three quick tips on how to determine whether if it is the battery, the phone itself, or the switch, or your case. Uh, sometimes your uh, case that you put on it, your protective case, you either put it in wrong, like in this case, if you, let's say you pushed it in, but did not push it all the way in. So right now, it's a little bit, this is a little bit exaggerating, but, oh wait, okay, so push it in a little bit more, and sometimes people leave it like that. Or sometimes the case itself kind of, kind of pops off the phone. So one end is going to be like, off and the other end is going to be all the way in and that could create pressure against the power button making it to turn on and off so you gotta make sure that it's all the way inside all the silver line all the silver around it around the phone has to be covered now the second thing that uh, to check would be to run your finger up and down the home uh, the power button sometimes the power button could be defective so to test it out just kind of run your finger through it do not push it just run your finger through it slightly and see what happens if you're running through it slightly and it keeps on turning on and off uh, then most likely your power button is defective in that case you might need to fix it i'm not sure how much that would cost if you're still under warranty then samsung should be able to replace your phone no problem now the third thing you need to check would be the battery uh, the way you're going to do that is um let's say the phone is turning on and off and it says let's say it says 80 percent and then it turns back on and, it's, and it says 40 or 30 or whatever percent a lot lower than what it said earlier um in that case then, then you know that it's a battery uh the third thing would be uh this only happened on samsung galaxy s3 models uh where the battery is a little bit loose or the case was not tight enough holding the battery in place so what i did there i grab some tape and I put three stripes on top of each other and then just close it up and it created a, a, a little bit of pressure to uh, keep the battery in place uh, but that only happened with the Samsung Galaxy S3 models I'm not sure if it's, that is, if it's happening with anything else other than that if that's okay then the battery like I said if it says that 80% or 90% and then it turns back on and it says like a lower percentage than when it said than what it said then you're just gonna have to replace the battery uh, make sure you don't not buy the same one you gotta get, get something else that's not samsung otherwise you're gonna keep on or might keep on having that problem um what else uh well yeah i think that should be all um well, in this case with this phone it was the case itself the case was turning or pushing the power button some, somehow. As soon as we took it off the case uh, and we left it without it, it actually stopped doing that. It stopped turning on and off. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure what was the problem there. The case seemed like it was all right for it, but uh, again, when, when we took it off the case, it, it stopped doing that. It stopped turning on and off. But uh, yeah, if, it, if it, in that case, and just replace it with, a, I guess, a better, or more expensive one i don't know anyways guys like always thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more how to and tech videos